Well, congratulations to Brighton, they were absolutely brilliant. Meanwhile, for these Tottenham players, the stats tell us two points from the last 30 on the road. They tell us two wins in the last 10. They tell us no away win in nine months, and the approach and the attitude, Joe, probably tells us so much more than just that. I mean, the club's in disarray, ain't it? I mean, you know, we're going we're gonna to credit Brighton, but it, today, a lot of it, Tottenham was dreadful. Um, no desire, no heart, no nothing. Getting up, there was no press. Tactically, they looked inept. Pochettino looked in, uninterested on the bench. I think we're getting to this point where it's the end of the road for this team. Um, and this manager? And this manager, but we, listen, it's going to be difficult because of the situation where he's, he's an asset for the club. It's not like a normal situation where you can let the manager go and get someone in. Listen, these players are not bad players. There's some world-class players in the Tottenham team. I like them. It's, it's, it's pains, pains you to say some of these lads are really good guys. They're really good players, but as a group, it's fallen, it's fallen apart. Um, and something's going to, I think we're at that point now where something's going to have to change. Mm. Um, I mean, I've been at that football club when there's been changes. Um, I mean, I love Maurizio, I really do. And I hope he stays, but it, it stinks of that type of moment. You know, things seem very stale. Um, look, he's been at the club for a number of years now. I feel like the club have let Maurizio down. I feel like the players are not applying themselves yeah. Yeah. as well. Um, something needs to change. Uh, hopefully it's the players' mentality rather than the manager, in my opinion.